This segment is sponsored by Chafin Luhana, doing good by doing right. Most all of us have used a ride hailing app like Uber or Lyft, and they can be a quick, convenient way to get where you're going. But are you really safe while you're on the road? Our next guest is Rupal Luhana, a founding partner of Chafin Luhana Law Firm, and she's representing passengers who say they were assaulted during their Uber rides. Rupal, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me and covering this important litigation. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you were the co-lead counsel <clears throat> in a very large lawsuit yeah. against Uber uh, that claims the company didn't do enough to keep riders safe on the road. Is that correct? That is correct. It's the Uber MDL. It's before Judge Breyer. And what we've alleged is that while Uber promises a safe ride mm -hmm. to its passengers, a ride with confidence, it does little to ensure that safety. Uh, Uber's known since at least 2013, 2014, that its drivers have been sexually assaulting passengers. And they really haven't done much to prevent those assaults. And it's a real breach of trust mm -hmm. and it's a breach of duty to their passengers. Right, so since 2013, Talk to us a little bit about how widespread. Um, are we talking one or two cases? How, how many cases are we talking about here? It's, <clears throat> it's really unfortunate because it is pretty widespread. In 2017, 2018, there was a safety report that was put out, and there were about 6,000 incidents of sexual assault. Mm. And then in 2019 and 2020, even though you had COVID and ridership had dropped, there were at least 3,800 incidents of sexual report. Uh, assault and over 800 rapes that were reported during that time period. Wow. And you have to recognize that a lot of women aren't speaking up and reporting these things for a host of other reasons. Right. So this, in fact, is actually an underestimate of really the full picture. Oh my God. Now, doesn't Uber um, screen their drivers, do background checks as well? So we've alleged that Uber doesn't do adequate background uh, checks. Right. They don't do fingerprinting. They don't run it against the FBI database or other databases. They don't do adequate training. They don't put cameras in cars to ensure that safety. In fact, Uber's focus really has been growth. And that growth has come at a cost of, for, of safety because they're about putting as many drivers on the road as quickly as possible. So what is the, what's the ultimate goal of this lawsuit? And, and what can <clears throat> survivors expect they, if they plan on working with you. I mean, we're, we're going to hold Uber accountable. Yeah. That's the goal here, right? And making sure the survivors have closure, making sure the survivors are compensated for these horrible injuries. And ultimately, the goal is making sure that there are safety checks mm -hmm. in place so we prevent future assaults from happening. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to reform the industry. Okay. 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 Now, Rubel, this isn't the first time that you've taken on a big case with high stakes, so you have been appointed by federal judges to plaintiffs, executive, and steering committees for some of the biggest cases of the past decades. Yeah, I have to say, you know, I'm really proud of the work my firm has done to represent people that who've been injured and wronged and seek justice for them. Our motto is doing good by doing right. And mm -hmm. oftentimes, unfortunately, we've seen companies from time to time, they put profits in front of mm -hmm. safety. You know, they cut corners, they mm -hmm. cheat. And so our goal here, we have a really experienced team. And so we climb that hill, that mountain, and make sure we hold these wrongdoers yeah. accountable. We make sure we make a meaningful impact in our clients' lives, because it's not only our clients, it's the lives of our clients' families as well, right. to get them the compensation they deserve, and then try to importantly implement necessary changes to prevent these wrongs from happening. So I'm really proud of, proud of what we do, and it's a privilege to do what we do. Yeah, you know, so what if someone is watching this right now, someone's out there, or they or a family member was a, a victim of an assault like the type that you're talking about. Sure. Um, is there still time for them? Can they still reach out to you and, and work with you? There, there is certainly time. You know, every case is different, and so we'd be happy to do, we do a free and confidential review of these cases and seek out what avenues of recovery they are for these survivors, so they certainly can contact us. Fantastic. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you for being here and for doing the work that you do. And folks at home, you can scan the QR code on your screen to find out more about the case and to schedule a free confidential case review with Chafin Luhana Law Firm.